My name is Barbara Reed, and I'm a member of City Rise Missouri City Church. And yesterday, I went to the first stakeholder summit meeting. And um, I have to admit, I was a little hesitant about going. <laughs> I had been stressed for two weeks and very tired, but I signed up, so I showed up. I was happy to say that I went because I learned uh, and was directed to think about some things I'd not thought about before. One was leaving a legacy. Um, I consider at my age and my station in life about leaving an inheritance. And I was caused to think about a legacy instead of an inheritance. And, um, and then it went a little further into uh, uh, a legacy of generosity. It nailed it down even further, which caused me to think about it. Generosity is something we can all do. We can all leave a legacy of generosity. You don't have to be smart or uh, talented. That's not that kind of legacy. It's a, a legacy of a lifestyle. And I, I started thinking about that and how important it would be to leave that kind of a legacy to my children and my grandchildren, who I love dearly, and even their children. And, um, and then generosity is something, as I said, uh, we can all do. We can be generous with our time. Um, we can be uh, generous serving. We can all do that and leave a legacy of that. And that actually is part of my DNA. But then there's also a generosity financially. And that's not so much in my DNA. And I started thinking about that because, um, you know, we want, I want to, uh, my children to always be comfortable. And so I started digging into that and I was reminded of a scripture that Pastor Chuck Oak gave me um, years ago. And I'll read it to you. I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. They're always generous and lend freely. Their children will be blessed. And I thought, okay, that's a promise that God has made to me and to my children, that if I am generous, um, they'll always be covered. God will always provide. He will take care of them, that I can trust him. I don't need to worry about that. I was challenged to think about stretching in that area of my life. Um, and, and to, to um, trust in God to, to help me with this part of my life. And who gave more but, but God? He gave His Son, the only Son. So how generous is that? And everything we have belongs to Him anyway. So I encourage you to think about leaving a legacy 